good afternoon everyone. Hello. Dami kaagad natin na viewers. Oh, I saw mom. Hello mom. My mom's watching from Germany. Hello. Andrew, say hi. <laughs> say hi, Andrew. Say hi, say hi. Hello, Lola. Hi, Lola. <laughs> May guest ako ngayon, di ba? That's Andrew. So, Today we're cooking three recipes. Welcome to Simple Life. No? So we're doing three recipes. Ang team natin ngayon, mga heirloom recipes. So mga recipes na, di ba? Handed over or we learn through generations. So, ito siya, yung tat gagawin kong tatlong dishes. Um, I'm sure magugustuhan nyo. Pero marami ng dough, medyo popular siya dati. Hindi na masyadong minuluto. Pero... Medyo simple din siyang gawin, ha? And it's something that you should learn because it's very important for, you know, the continuity of our traditions, no? So, we'd like to thank, before going on, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today, Silver Swan, uh, who has been there for almost 80 years. So, 80 years na natin ginagamit ang ating paboritong Silver Swan, no? Yung note yes. na note yung lasa niya. And, um, yun, hi, shoutout muna tayo. Ang dami ng mga tao, may taga Cebu. Cebu. May... Doha, Qatar, Chef. O, oh, Qatar. Uh, ano, may kitang Japan. Di ba? Yan. Yeah. Sino dami. pa ba? Sila Charlie, Chef, sa Marabon. Oh, Marabon. Idol na, idol ka nila. O, oh, yan. Oh, no, diba? sila, parati yeah. sa'yo. O, oh, si Chef Christian Anthony Castillo. Di ba? Hello, <laughs> in Bulacan. Yan. Yes, yeah, Chef. Sa so, taga Laguna, yan? Chef. Mga Laguna. Ganyan. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, first and foremost, yung gagawin natin ay isang very popular na dish. Sometimes, uh, nag-iba-iba yung tawag natin sa akin. Sometimes, sinatawag natin siyang humba. Sometimes, sinatawag natin siyang estofado. So, I think, yung humba kasi is the, parang, the way it's called in Chinese. Yung estofado naman, comes from the Spanish term. Pero, yung estofado kasi, it's actually from the French na stew estofad na meaning cooked in a brown sauce. So, eto kasi siya yung, di ba, yung mga when we were interacting with the Spaniards, we were introduced to, introdu uh, to um, uh, Spanish cuisine or Western cuisine. So, may adaptation. So, brown sauce siya. Pero usually, in the French cuisine, yung ginagawa nila for mag-brown yung sauce ay pinuroast nila yung bones, di ba? Gumagawa sila ng parang demi-glass. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, ang adaptation natin, paano gumawa ng brown sauce ay mas madali. The innovation of the Filipino, instead of roasting bones and all that, what did we do? We use soy sauce. And one of the first soy sauce na ginamit natin is, of course, silver, silver swan. swan. ba? So, nag-start yan siya sa Binondo more than 80 years ago. So, meron tayong baboy. So, you can use pata or you can use yempo. But today, para hindi siya masyadong maraming fat, yung ginawa ko, we're using kasim, no? Kasim is dito. Kasim. Pige is here. <laughs> diba? So it's a, there's a little pork back, but it's actually the pork shoulder, no? In English, is pork shoulder for the people in the US. Hello, guys. So, meron tayo dito. So, anong gagawin natin? What we do is we just put everything in a pot. Sobrang simple. So, what do we do? Meron tayong sugar, No? Kaya medyo matami siya. We have sugar. Medyo madami yung sugar natin. Meron tayong star anise. So, this is the aromatic sa ating star anise. I don't have a cinnamon bark, but usually they put cinnamon bark. Meron tayong laurel leaves, dahon ng laurel. Meron tayong black pepper. Meron tayong sibuyas. Meron tayong bawang. Yan. And we put our suka, no? Vinegar, we put a vinegar, a little bit of vinegar. Let's put around half cup. Ayaw ko nang medyo too dark na estofado. So we'll just put around half a cup. So this one per cup. No? Yan. Suka. Gagamitin din natin. Gagamitin tayo ng dato puti soy sauce. No? Malinamnam. Sobrang linamnam. Yan. I'll just put one fourth of soy sauce. And eto yung Hindi siya traditional, pero yung ginagawa ko dito, why why I do this is to give it our estofado a very nice color. I use a little bit of banana ketchup. Kaya pag naluto ito, makikita mo sobrang ganda ng kulay natin ng ating estofado. 
So, sugar, then suka, then soy sauce, that to, uh, silver swan uh, soy sauce and silver swan suka. And we put our aromatics, onions, garlic, star anise, bay leaf, black pepper, and you can put a cinnamon, kung may cinnamon ka. Look at that, no? it's soaking. And we also add silver swan black beans, salted black beans. Yan. Yan ang bibigay ng flavor sa atin. Yan. And meron tayong ditong banana blossom. Asoseno yung tawag ng iba. So ito yung bulaklak ng, di ba, puso ng sagi. Meron siyang bulaklak sa loob. So it's dried. So what we do, we soak it in water. Ito wash na siya, kaya medyo yung color niya is very light. So rinse ko siya, then sinoko din siya sa water. Dagdag-dagdag ko siya. Yan. So, ano ba yung gagawin natin? So, yung style ko dito, di ba, hinahalo ko siya. I let it sit usually for around 30 minutes bago ko siya lutuin. Para manuot yung lasa. Hindi yung paghalo ko, dinerecho ko siya ng luto. So, ngayon, lulutuin ko na siya para umabot siya ng when we're done. So, i-on ko na yung aking heat. And we will proceed to our next recipe. Yeah. So we'll just wait for that. Boil, 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 boil lang siya. Simmer siya hanggang maluto, hanggang medyo lumapot siya. Yeah. Chef, shout out mo muna yung 2.1K na nanonood sa'yo. Hello, hello yes. guys. Thank you. Sometimes hindi namin mabasa yung mga messages. Sobrang dami. Usually, Delay. by now, umabot na yata ng 1,000 yung mga messages. Kaya medyo nagkahabol din tayo ng greetings. Yes. yes. Oh. Sino pa ba yung mga tumatawag kahit ba message sa Chef, sabi ni Olive, humba pala yan, Chef. Oh, humba, Esofado. Ang difference ng humba ng Esofado is practically the same recipe. Pero, pag sinasabi mong Esofado, meron siyang pritong saba. Ah, yan. Ah, so, you can use pata, you can use whatever. So, humba Esofado. Pwede yung whatever you call it. Pero yung difference na niya, pag may saging, sinasabi nila, Esofado na siya. Yan. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to make another... Recipe. Yeah, so look at look at that one. That's going to simmer. But clean up na ho ng konte. And again, thank you to Silver Swan. I'd like to say hi to our friends at Nutri Asia. Miss Ampi, hello. James, hello. Mario, hello. Max, hello. And also Leah. Yeah. And also my staff na yun, in quarantine sila ngayon. So, yeah. So, Yeah. Shout out mo doon si Francis Chef, nanonood. Hi Francis! Sanggol. From Bulacan. Oh, sang, si Sanggol Francis, si Didi Francis. <laughs> yan, <laughs> stop ko yan. Yun ang paborito kong uh, assistant. Yan, hindi na nagpapakita kasi nag-quarantine. Ingat taga... Sanggol ha! <laughs> Tsaka yung mga taga Pandan daw, Chef. Oh, hello! Pandan people! Malapit na tayong magkikita-kita. Yan. Yes. So, what I'm going to do next is sa lumpia, di ba? nasabi nga nila pag may handaan kahit walang ibang ulam basta may lumpia pwede na yes. so gagawa tayo ng lumpia pero etong lumpia na eh, di ba usually niluluto natin is the lumpia Shanghai no pero again di ba kanina sinasabi ko yung uh, pagka fluid ng Filipino cuisine galing sa Spanish influence to the to the Chinese influence so eto siya, di ba, para humba. Estofado, mas Spanish. Pag sinasabi mo humba, medyo Chinese na siya. It's basically the same dish. So, gagawin natin ngayon is alumpia, pero hindi siya yung lumpia siyang hay. Ang tinatawag din naman sa kanya, bukilios. No? So, sa mga piyesta dati, ito yung sinuserve. And yung palaman niya is more like a um, palaman ng empanada natin. Di ba, kumakan kayo ng empanada. Merong giniling, merong patatas, merong carrots. Diba? And bukilios means small pieces, small bites, or small handles. Kasi when you eat it, small siya pa isa-isa. Diba? So what do we do now? So I'll just get my ingredients ready. So, we have our giniling, ground pork, you can use ground chicken, you can use kaltuna. No? Meron kayong kaltuna. Meron din tayo ngayong bago yung canned chicken. No? Canned corn chicken yun. Yan. Hi, Dang! Oh. Chef, blooming in quarantine daw, Chef. Sabi ng Nutri Asia. Sinong blooming? Sabi ng ikaw daw, Chef. <laughs> Ganon lang yan. <laughs> Chile, relax eh. Relax, di ba? Yan. Yan. 
So, yan ang ating ingredients, no? Woo, medyo madami. Huwag kayo malito, ha? Bango-bango, chef. Bango-bango ng ating humba estofado. Yan. Saan ba takip nito? Takman natin to. Yan. So, you notice, hindi ko na siya halos dinagdagan ng tubig, ha? Because yung marinate niya, then yung natural na uh, juices ng baboy, siya na yung magiging bracing liquid ng ating baboy. As I sasabihin mong patay yung niluluto mo na it takes more time to simmer. So, iba ba daw po siya sa placido? Placido? Hindi ko alam yung placido. Yan, i-research ko yan, ha? Oh, may ganun palang recipe. Parang ganito ba? Placido? Oo, oh, chef. Tinatanong ni yan, chef. Oo, oh, sige. Tatanong ko din. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko rin alam, eh. So, Sisimula natin nung yung ating bukilyo. So, unlike yung ating lumpia Shanghai, di ba, hinahalo-halo na natin siya. Then, uh, ipapalaman. Then, pipituhin na hilaw yung, yung giniling sa loob. Ito naman siya, is already cooked. No? So, our... Uh, let's see. Yan. So, our giniling will be cooked. So, again, our giniling is from Fresh Options. Yung gamit ko dito, hindi masyado yung mataba. No? It's medyo lean kasi if you use the very oily natin na yung very fatty na ginili. Pag ginisa natin, magre-render yung fat. And pag rinol mo na lumpia, ano mangyayari? Pagiging oily din siya. No? So, let's just add a little oil. Gisa-gisa lang tayo. Chef, paano daw po mawala yung amoy ng baboy, Chef? Amoy ng baboy? Oo. Oh, parang... Yung malensa. Ang problema natin kasi sa baboy, it's really the quality of the meat, no? So, number one, it's the quality of the meat. Kasi sometimes, ganito, pang matanda na yung baboy, may amoy. Also, pag yung imported na baboy yung ginagamit mo, may certain lansa yung imported na baboy dahil sa daming chemicals na ini-inject nila sa baboy. So, that's why I like using local pork. No? Mas masarap yung local pork kasi hindi siya malansa. And also, you have to keep it fresh all the time. So, yun din. Kahit sabihin mo, The only way na pagbaba, kung maamoy na siya, kailangan mo talaga gisahin ng maayos. Gisahin mo din, magayon mo ng spices. Pero as much as possible, you start with quality ingredients. Kung wala, wala kang magawa, gigisa mo lang talaga siya. Yan, so, reheating the oil. Yan. Sabi ni Jerry Chef, Hello Chef, maraming salamat sa mga recipe mo. Dati pa itong itlog lang, kayo, tinapaalam ko. Ngayon, oh. medyo marami na ang tutunan wow, recipe mo. Wow, diba? Yan, yan dapat, diba? Medyo... Yan, hindi yata nakaayos na guys. Anyway, so we just saute our garlic. So, sundan nyo ha. Garlic, onions. Gisa-gisa lang tayo. Ayan. Ayan, garlic and onions. And we put our carrots. Okay, unahin natin yung kuhan. Garlic onion. Then, ang kakaiba nito, eh, luma kasi itong recipe eh. This is really a very old recipe. Ang gamit nila na pang paumami is hibi, dried shrimp. So, hindi na natin masyadong ginagamit ngayon. Pero, ito yung ginagamit nila dati na pang paumami. So, merong dried shrimp na tinagtad. Hinugasan siya din tinagtad. Hibi. No? So, Sabi ni Ray Roque, ikaw ba yung bida sa Netflix, chef? Netflix? Oo, oh, di ba? <laughs> bida talaga, hindi bida yun. Kontra bida yun. <laughs> yeah. So, sote lang natin. So, lumalabas yung aroma ng shrimp, no? Mas maganda daw talaga if you buy in Fresh Option. Yes, Fresh Option. Thank you, Fresh Options. Yan, then ating giniling. So, konting giniling naman yung gamit natin dito. No? Gisa, gisa Then we add our diced red bell pepper Red and green bell pepper Konti lang Carrots Minced carrots Patatas Yung patatas natin Yung ginawa natin Di ba minions natin Nagyan natin siya ng konting tubig At konting suka Konting suka para hindi siya mangitin Because Yung potato Or like any fruits na nangingitin Like apples and all that You have to soak it in a little acid because it will oxidize, no? Once it's exposed to oxygen, no, hangin, mahanginan siya, eatin siya because 
yung chemical reaction. May chemical reaction siya. So, look at that, no? Tinuluto namin siya. And also pala, hello to Doc Willie Ong. Yan. Yes. So, nanonood pala si Doc sa atin. And may plano kami, gagawa kami ng uh, episodes na mga healthy cooking. Kasi nakita niya na sobra kong healthy. Sabi, oh, chef, because you're so healthy, let's cook healthy food together. Yan. So, magluluto kami ni... Um, Doc Willie, ya, gagawa kami ng mga healthy recipes for everyone. Yeah. Sabi ni Bernie Dyson, educational na, yummy pa. Correct, di ba? So, here what we do is put, eh po siya, this is a very polarized ingredient, no? May gusto, may ayaw. So, raisins, yan. So, ako dito sa bahay, gusto ko si Andrew ayaw. So, no, di ba? So, Pasensyahan tayo. Gusto mong wala, ikaw magluto. So, ito siya. Yung recipe na to. This old recipe, Bukilios, is, di ba, has raisins. And timplahan natin siya ng konting silver swan soy sauce. Ayan. Silver swan soy sauce. Ayan. Silver swan soy sauce for the little color. Ayan. And black pepper. We also add a little bit of sugar just to balance and a little salt. And for example, di ba sabi ko kanina, yung gamit nung unang panahon, yung magbigay ng umami is they use the mint or finely chopped na, ano ba yun? Hebe, yung dried shrimp. Yes, chef. Ngayon, in modern times, pwede ka mag-substitute ng ating uh, wow sarap all-purpose granules, no? So you can use that also. Sa akin naman, some people like to use it, some people don't. So it's really up to you. Ako naman, for me, it really depends on what I'm cooking. Kasi kung kompletos rekados ako, hindi ko pipilit. Pero sometimes kasi, alam mo, may budget tayo na medyo may bawang tayo. Wala tayong sibuyas, or may sibuyas tayo, walang bawang, or wala tayong whatever. So to be using products na... Um, like uh, the wow sarap is very convenient for us no? especially sa mga mothers na nagbabudget so yun, yun lang yung masasabi ko so when this is cooked, look at that luto na yung ating Sabi, mga measurement, post ba natin siya? yes, we will post it so after after this, we will post the measurements of these videos and yung recipes din namin lalabas din siya sa NutriAsia website no? siguro in a few days yan So, luto na siya, di ba? Look at that. So, pwede mo kung gagawa ka ng uh, empanada, pwede mo pong palaman. And di ba, look at that. It's watery, no? Again. Tuturo ko lang to. So, it's watery. Sa traditional recipe, hinahayaan lang nila yan. Kaya sabi na, oh, i-drain mo lang. Pero nandito naman lahat ng lasa. Tama ba? Yes, yes. All the lasa, even the, all the nutrients are already there sa katitirang. So, so, what do we do para hindi masayang ang ating Drippings. What do we do? We just add a little bit of flour. Around the tablespoon of flour. You know, to the mixture. So traditionally, hindi yan ginagawa. Ito, technique ko lang yan para hindi masayang yung ating drippings. Yan. Look at that, di ba? Looks yummy, chef. It Bango looks pa. yummy. Hindi siya looks. Masarap talaga siya. Yes. Yan. Ito yung mga recipe medyo gawa ng ating mga lola dati. Alala ko to pag mga piyesta-piyesta. I guess add a little bit more sugar. And, look at that. Diba? Okay na siya. And lastly, diba? Nalagyan ko siya ng shop na hard-boiled egg. So, diba sa skunting giniling mo, you extend with all these vegetables. Pwede yes. nagyan din ng nagyan din ng what you call this, ng green peas. Pwede ka maglagay ng chopped mushrooms and all that. So, Dumadami din yung konti mong giniling. So, you can just add your giniling, your tuna, your corn chicken. Ewan ko kung corn beef mag-work to. I don't know. Try it, pero ewan ko. Siya, paano daw replacement sa hibe kung wala? Yeah, mag-work mag, ka. mag ka na lang na flavoring. But that's good enough already. No? So, what we're looking for is convenient way of doing things. And surely, masarap. Look at that. So, we let that cool for a while, no? Let that cool. Tingnan natin yung ating... Yeah, mix up, you know? It's cooking beautifully. 
Sabi ni Christian, okay. Chef, special na lumpia talaga yan, Chef, ah. Special to. Ako, hindi na siya masyadong ginagawa ngayon, eh. Yes. Siguro, matrabaho mag-slice-slice, mag-chop-chop. Pero, huwag kayo mag-reclamo ngayon, <laughs> nakakwarantin, wala ka naman ibang ginagawa. So, it's really the right time to be able to learn mga heirloom recipes sa long cooking, maraming process, kasi ngayon tayo may oras. So, what we do now, we just let it cool. And meron ako ditong konti, then rinap ko na siya. I'll just show you how to wrap it. I'm sure you know how to wrap it, imposible naman na hindi. Pero, yan. Wrap beautifully, pakita nyo lang. Yan. O, oh, wala na ba tayong shoutouts dyan? Sa uh, Cebu Chef, ang dami nag ano Chef. O, oh, may, 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 uh, hapon inyong tanan diha. Okay, Ramo diha. Yan. Isa may nagtanaw di akong mga kaila. Yan. So, ito lang. Just put it aside, ha? Tingnan natin, ha? I'll show you. So, close up, close up. So, what we do, just get a piece of lumpia wrapper. Get a spoonful of the filling. Yan. Yan, yan, yan lang. Dapat cool na siya. Or else, kung hindi siya malamig, uh, mahirapan kang mag-handle. So, we're going to make small bites, no? Small bites. Roll. Yan. And fold. On each end. Yan, malaki yung fold, ha? Para maging doble yung skin niya. Yan. Get a little bit of water. Or slurry. Yan, dikit. And we're done. So, I'll make one more. So, it's very easy to do, ah. And also, di ba sometimes, kung mag-movibili tayo ng um, wrapper, then nanunuyo siya. Pag nanunuyo siya, medyo madali siya mag-crack. Di ba? Madali siya mag-crack na nasisira. So what you do, you get a damp. Ito, for example, may towel ka. Babasain mo siya, then pipigaan mo siya. A damp piece of paper, and you wrap it. no? Wrap it in a damp piece of paper. Ganyan. To keep it malambot. To keep it tender. Yun ang gagawin niya. Okay? So, pag medyo tuyo, iwan mo lang siya ng siguro a few minutes. Pag lumambot siya, pwede na yung gamitin ulit. No? So, don't expose this. And ako, I have this in my ref. Yung ginagawa ko, bumibili ako, let's say, 50 pieces or 100 pieces. Hatiin ko na siya in a plastic and I freeze it. So, when I use it, kukuha lang mo ng what I need and freeze the rest. So, ito siya. Kahit sabihin mo, i-freeze mo ng 2 weeks to 1 month, hindi masisira. So, Anytime you want to have the lumpia, easy. And this one also, you can also freeze it na wrap already. So it's very convenient. One time ka gumawa, gumawa ka ng ganito. Pang dalawang linggo. ba? Every time you want, pwede ka magprito. Diretso mo na prito. Hindi ka na mahirapan. Especially pag ganito, luto na siya. Naka-wrap siya. You can freeze it to up to a month. So hindi siya, ba? It's sobrang convenient. Sobrang easy to do. Sakto yeah. yung tanong ni ano, Chef. Yan. Kung ilang days daw tinatagal niyan sa freeze. Ito siya, pag one day lang siya, pwede naman siya. Iwan mo lang siya ng one day. Pero kailangan mo siya ang cover. Kasi kung expose siya sa, kung expose siya sa, anong tawag dito, sa ref, manunuyot siya. ba? Hindi naman ito masisira kasi luto na yung palaman niya. Yan. And also, ba ito tip, hindi, hindi related sa ginagawa natin. But, for example, you have bread, tinapay nyo, never put it in the freezer, ay na chiller, kasi maninigas yan, manunuyot. The way to keep your bread is to keep it in the freezer. If freezer nyo, tignan nyo, bagong ba, bili tinapay, i-wrap nyo, if you freeze nyo, then after, pag thaw out nyo, thaw out nyo in the evening, para kakainin mo in the morning for breakfast, parang fresh siya. As long as you freeze it fresh, you will thaw it fresh pa rin siya. So, don't keep it in the chiller. The chiller will just dry it up. Yan. So, ngayon, look at that. Meron na tayong lumpia. O, piprito-prito tayo ng konti. This one cooks faster. That one cooks faster dahil luto na yung loob niya. ba? Yan. Sabi ni Jenbel, pandok. Chef, nakakagutom na. Gutom na ba? Yan. Ito. Alam mo, hindi ito maayos pagka lagay ko ito. Ayusin ko lang. Yan. Yeah. Fine. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So we'll fry our lumpia. Okay lang kayo guys. We'll fry our lumpia and I'm so excited. Ito yung humba ating estofado. Yan. So when we're cooking lumpia and it's like this na medyo white po na ako. Kasi medyo so warm. So nakita natin kasi yun nga yung ating Shoutout mo na chef kay Ian Sartu. Oi, hello Ian. Ayan. Hello Miguel. Hello Charlie. How's Charlie? Charlie yung papi nila. <laughs> And also, hi JC, how are you? Yan, mga Yan. Will you flip it open para mas mabilis siya ma Bango chef. Bango. Bango ba? Look at that. I'm so excited and happy with this. Yan. Bisa nga rin ng konti. Shoutout mo muna, Chef, si Aline Macero, Chef. Sino? Si Aline Macero, wife Aline mo ni Charlie. Aline Macero, hello, hello there. She's watching din, from Manabon din. Hello. So, we're heating the oil. Remember, when you're frying, kasi pag di ba yung ninuluto mo, for example, flat yung ninuluto mo, pwede mong gawin mga konting oil kasi babalik ka rin mo lang siya, di ba? Side A, side B. Pero pag nagluluto ka ng pagkain na medyo odd shape, for example, manok, huwag mo siyang i-flat kasi hindi mo siya mag... <laughs> hindi siya two sides eh. Marami siyang sides eh. So what you do, you have to deep fry it. But in the case of this lumpia, usually pag lumpia siyang hay na traditional yung hilaw yung loob, what I do, I always deep fry it para even yung cooking niya at sigurado hindi mahilawan sa loob. But in this case, naluto na yung loob niya, it's okay to do shallow frying. So, we can just fry in one side and one side. So, mas tipid siya sa oil. Sabi ni Jojo, ah, sana no. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Punta na daw siya dyan. Pupunta na daw siya dito, chef. Oy, hello. Musta ka na, Jojo? Yan. So, how do you know it's hot? Yan ang hot. Hot na ba? So, yan. So, put a little salt. At ito, ito kasi, the key to knowing salt, ito, yung salt ko dito, fine salt. Pero, pero rock salt yung gamit mo, mag-sprinkle ka ng konting uh, rock salt, bubula yan. Kasi, yung, yung oil mo, may, may moisture. Pero ito, hindi mo mayroon. Use rock salt, pitikan mo ng konti. Pag nagsisizzle siya, ibig sabihin, luto na siya. Ah, luto na siya. I mean, hot na siya. So, let's just fry a little bit of our bukilios. Ayan. Ayan. Again, when you drop, be careful that it doesn't drop on you. Ideally, outward, from you, outward, or palay, basta palayo sa'yo yung pag-drop mo ng oil. Para, sino tatamaan, Chef? Cameraman yung matatamaan. <laughs> yan. Good enough, yan. That's good enough for now. Yan, so we're frying, we're frying our bukilios. And we're waiting for estofado. Look at that. Hindi ko masyadong ginawang dark, ha? So, it's a nice bright color compared to the humba. No, humba usually very dark siya. Ito siya, lesser soy sauce siya para medyo mag... Yun. Yan. Yan. So, we're frying, 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 frying. No? Gamit natin dito, I'm using canola oil from Golden Fiesta. Yan. And I'm excited for our last recipe. Tapusin ko lang to. Then when we do our last recipe, sabay na maluluto yung ating estofado. Ayan. Don't forget. Oh. Ano, ano? May mga... Subscribers natin, Chef. Hello, guys. Uy, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment on our pages. Kasi alam mo, we really need to have, you know, the support of the people para tuloy-tuloy tayo gagawa ng ganitong klaseng mga events, no? Mga live events. Kasi uso na ngayon live events eh. Online na tayo dahil nga medyo dangerous yung going out in public. So, eto na lang magkikita-kita tayo. Pero nangyayari, instead of having just a small event, what's happening? We're doing a global event because we have people from all over the world watching Simple, no? So, ang dami, actually, ang dami na nating fans and followers sa uh, Simple. But again, please like, share, subscribe on all our official, official ha, wag sa hindi official, 
official social media accounts. It's simple on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Wala pa akong TikTok. Abangan niya akong TikTok. Ha? Magti-TikTok pa tayo? Ha? Pwede, Chef. Sige, pag kumaya kayo mag-TikTok ako, mag-TikTok talaga ako. Sige. Sabi ni Miguel, Chef, I'm hungry na daw. You're hungry na, Miguel. How are you, Miguel? I miss you, Miguel. Yan. Yan. So, eto siya. While this is frying, yan. Oh, may questions pa kayo dyan? Oh, lapit na yung ating kuwan. So, yung gagawin natin na third recipe, wait, luto-luto lang siya. Ang gagawin natin na third recipe is one of my favorite recipes. It's soam na mais or ginisang mais. I've seen kasi pag nagpapalengke ngayon, I think it's harvest season, ang daming mais. Yung puting mais, yung malagkit na mais, nakikita nyo yan. Hindi yung Japanese sweet corn. Ha? It's the white mais. It's this one. Look at that. Look at that. So, yung gagawin natin dito, I'm done with this. Yan. So, yung gagawin natin dito, we're going to shave. No? We're going to shave the the corn. No? Ay, ano ba yun? Magsishave tayo ng corn. Beautiful, oh. Look at that. Ang beautiful ng ating lumpia. Kaya kailangan mo medyo dahan-dahan na magluto. Kasi pag binamadali mo yung lumpia, mangyayari, masusunog siya, pero hindi siya crisp. Kasi the purpose of frying, yung low fry, para ma-dehydrate mo, ubus lahat ng moisture tubig sa harina niya, sa flour niya. So, balikan natin yung ating suam na mais. We have the mais, and we shave it. We don't cut it out na buo yung kernel. So, hindi siya whole kernel. So, para siya, ba yung cream of corn. So, gagawin natin, isha-shave natin little by little, ganyan, ha? Hanggang maubo siya. Chef, may lang daw magkaan ng apron mo, Chef. Pagkatapos na ng quarantine, but I promise you, sus, sa sobrang dami nag-request, maglalabas na talaga kami ng apron. Kasi, yes. Yes, diba? Well, anyway, we have that. Eh. Luto na yung ating lumpia. One turn, I'm happy. It's beautiful. Ne? One turn. Luto na siya. Look at that. Diba? Oh, oh my God. Bango rin ng humba, chef. Ay, ng stupado. Stupado. It's gonna get thicker. Yan. So, ating uh, bokilios or yung It's done. Lumpia is done. Look at that. Yan. Ito yung gusto ko talaga sa lumpia. Yung pantay-pantay talaga yung pagka-roll niya. Yung na nawiwinda nga ako medyo natutro off ako. Siguro yung pagka-OC ko. Pag yung lumpia medyo hindi pa na yung laki. Pero umiinit yung ulo ko pag pinapagawa ko sa iba na medyo sablay. Yeah. So, ito siya. Then, yung partner niya is just suka, no? We have silver swan vinegar with bawang and konting uh, garlic. garlic. Bawang, uh, garlic. And a little bit of pepper. Salt, pepper. Yan. Pero pwede ka din gumamit ng silver swan na sweet chili sauce. Yan, may sweet chili sauce din na ayaw dyan. I'll just put this aside. Yan. Yan. Yan, are we ready? Excited na sila, Chef, sa... Excited na. Next recipe. Ito siya. Ito yung recipe na ginagawa ko. Pero alam mo, sometimes, pag makinig ka sa medyo mga... Mas expert sa mga heirloom cuisine. May matutunan ka pa rin. May matutunan ka pa rin. Look at that. Ang ganda-ganda. So, ito siya. Nagpaturo ako sa tita ng isa kong uh, good friend. Si tita ni Christian Anthony Castillo. Hello, Chef Christian. My idol. My true friend among all the others. <laughs> anyway. Nagpaturo ako dun sa tita niya, si Tita Lina, uh, gulinaw ng paano to gawin. So, ina-explain niya sa akin. Sabi niya, diba, you, you i-shave mo yung, yung mais. Then, gagataan mo. Sabi ko, gagataan mo? Ano yung ibig sabi, sabi ng gagataan? Lalagyan mo ng gata. Hindi gagataan mo. Yung ibig palang sabihin niya is, how they do it traditionally is, diba yung mais natin? Look at that. Traditional to, this is something you should learn. Something you should learn. It's a very old technique. Malinis yung kamay ko. Take note ha. Malinis yung kamay ko. You put water. 
Yeah, baka sa yung may milk yung loob niya. Yung gagawin mo, my hands are clean ha, naghugas ako. Bibigyan mo para mo para siyang i-treat na para siyang gata. No? So you get the starch, the corn starch, no? And dito galing yung corn starch ng ganda to. So before mo siya gigisa, gagawin mo is pipigaan mo pala siya para makuha mo yung starch. Huh? Interesting, di ba? Yeah. So, pipiliin mo talaga yung mais na medyo malambot pa, yung fresh bagong pitas. So, it's sweeter, it's more malagkit. Yeah. Ito pala yung ibig sabihin na gagata. So, ito yung na-learn ko, ha? Ito yung na-learn na hindi ko alam. Let's add a little bit more water para mas marami yung maluto natin later on. Here, look at that. Swipe my hands. And we start. Simple, simple lang to. Sir, pwede po ba daw ibang corn? Pwede naman ibang corn, yes. Pwede ibang corn. You can mix even yellow corn and white corn for this. Wala ko ng more oil. So, I just hit up a pan. Look at that. Sobrang easy. Sobrang easy niyang gawin. A little oil. Again, we have our onions and garlic. Tama ba, Tita Lina, yung ginawa ko? Ha? Ayan. PM na lang mamaya si Christian kung tama yung ginawa ko. Ayan. And, we saute our onions and our garlic. Wala siyang kamatis. Wala siyang luya. Ayan. And we have shrimp. Meron akong shrimp dito. Hipon na binalatan din. Tinadad. Chopped shrimp. And, so it's called suam na mais or tinatawag din siya ginisang mais. Ayan. So, day to day. Look at that. Then I just strain the mais. And I add the grated corn. Huli ko yung kapas niya. No? Look at that. Isa. Ito, gagawin kasi namin dito, ginigisa natin siya, and titipla natin siya na silver swan patis. Ako, I like silver swan patis kasi malinamnam siya. Silver swan patis kasi has a higher protein content. Chef, nanonood daw si Tita Lina. Hello, Tita Lina! Hello! Hello! Salamat po sa tips! Yan. Sana tama yung ginawa ko. Yan. Sa pangailan daw ba hibe? Kung walang hipon? Pwede din hibe. Pwede din na uh, chopped shrimp. Ah, uh, chopped shrimp, chopped chicken. Yan. Or crab meat, kung social ka. Or kung masosyal ka, kagaya ni Christian. Sabi niya, lobster is the best daw. <laughs> diba? Spiny lobster. Na. Use spiny lobster. At saka... Yun, huwag daw ang palaya leaves gamitin, kundi spinach, then may microgreens daw. Yun ang turo niya sa akin. Yan. So, nakikita mo, look at that ha, nagisa na natin yung ating mais. And, look. And, meron ako dito, yung ulo ng hipon, pinitpit ko, we, we smashed it. And, kinuha natin yung katas with a little water. So, yung shrimp flavor, lalabas talaga. Yeah, mix that, mix that, mix that. And we put our slurry, the social slurry, organic slurry, slurry shop from real corn. No? Look at that, nakikita mo yung starchy, starchy niya. Yes, chef. Ganun pala yun. Yeah. So, eto, kung gusto mo ng more flavor, pwede din natin patakan ng kwanting... Kung gusto nyo lang, pwede meron, pwede wala. Yeah, let it simmer. Talaga natin kung gusto niyo lang, kung ayon niyo, di ba? Pero, eto siya for some people, especially pag hindi fresh yung shrimp niyo, dagdaga niyo talaga ng pangpalasa or else it's going to be bland, no? Magiging bongga daw sabi ni Tita Lina. Happy ka, Tita? Yeah, look at that, oh. So, you see, 
medyo lumalapot na yung ating suam na mais. And look at that weight, ha? Kasi sa kabay-sabay ito maluto, eh. Look at our estofado. Hindi ka ba mahahapi dyan? Hindi ba? Diba? Niniwanan na natin siya sa tabi while we're cooking our other dishes. No? If you want it more malambot, you cook it longer. Pero, eto, good enough. If your baboy naman is quality, surely it doesn't take too long to cook. Yan. Look at that. Sobrang, you know, sobrang ganda ng kulay, ha? Look at that, ha? The soy sauce and the banana ketchup gives it a very nice color. Yun know, ang sekreto, ha? Huwag nyo i-share sa iba. Huwag nyo i-share sa iba. Kasi, hindi ko talaga tinuturo. Kasi ibang tao, pag siya sabi, yan lang yan, sobrang simple lang yan siya. Ay, ang jolots mo naman. Hindi ka gumagawa pa ng anato oil. Yung, Wag na ka ba? Tignan mo yung kulay niya. Tignan mo. Tignan mo, di ba? Ang sarap-sarap. Ang dali-dali pang gawin. Yan. And lastly, para makompleto yung ating estofado, meron na tayong fried banana. Yan. Ano, halo natin. Iga-garnish ko na lang itong aking fried banana. Pwede rin siya. Garnish ka na lang, ha? Ah. Yan. Oh, wala na bang shout out? Tapos na tayo. Yan. Ha? So, I'm ready to plate my estofado. Guys, are you ready for that? Oo, oh, masarap. Yeah. Sobrang sarap na ito, chef. Hi, I'm so excited. Kanin, kanin. Kanin. Oh. Ano? May pagdududa ba kayo sa recipe natin? Wala, Chef. Ha? Look at that, oh. Jesus. Ah, look at the sauce. Yan. Shout out from Dubai. Hello, guys. Oy, <laughs> mga Dubai. Pasensya, bawal. Bawal to sa inyo. <laughs> bawal tong recipe natin sa inyo ngayon. Pero anyway, when you get back to the Philippines, I'm sure pwede ka nang kumain nitong estofado natin talagyan natin yung ating free sabi tong, ni Rosa sabi. Chef Padilla, kailangan maraming kanin oo nga eh, yan, look at that oh my god, I'm so happy yan oh, Mario, gawin mo na to ngayong bukas ha pakain mo sa pamilya mo yan, look at that and we just sprinkle a little bit of our spring onions Oh, look at that. Sobrang, wow. Oh. Wow, sarap. Yan. Sarap, dalawang recipe na chef. Dalawang recipe, eh. Look at that. Oh, luto na rin yung ating mais. Look at that, oh. It's so creamy. Yung iba nilalagyan nila ng egg. Pero sa atin, di na natin lalagyan ng egg. And what we do, lastly, we add our dahon ng ampalaya. You can use balunggay. You can use spinach as uh, suggested by Chef uh, Christian Castillo. Yan. And, eto, wala daw tong black pepper. I was told, do not put black pepper kasi ang pangit daw tignan on the plate. But if you want to put your pepper, you use, what do you use? You use white pepper. Yeah. And, look at that. Thank you again, Masplex, for our pots and pans. Look at that. Oops. Wow! Happy, happy, happy! Yes. Three dishes for you in our simple episode today. Look at that. Everything done from scratch. Wala tayong daya. Pero super yummy. Super easy to do. And surely it's something that kung hindi nyo magagawa ngayong quarantine season, it's something that you should do for your family. Because it's something that has been passed on from one generation to the next and I'm passing it on to you para kayo din ma-share nyo sa inyong mga chikiting so that they'll cook it for their chikiting in the future just like Silver Swan ginagamit noon ginagamit ngayon at gagamitin pa rin yan ng mga apo-apo diba? so thank you very much thank you very much Silver Swan thank you very much everyone all over the world don't forget to like, share, subscribe on our pages Simple on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and soon TikTok. Yes. Bye! Happy kainan, Chef! Happy kainan! Yeah. Here. It's beautiful.